Okay, here we are. 120 days for the Healthy Life Challenge. One, two, zero. Made it to the end, April 30th, 2022. The challenge has been completed. We have executed, executed, executed. <laughs> I had to do that. I wore my work, uh, my t-shirt. Um, there's no such thing as try, try, try. We want to execute, execute, execute. So in this moment, I want to document the process and the persistence that it took for us, anybody who did their own challenge, if you did it partially with me or you did it for yourself, that's what I want to document. The process of learning, developing, practicing, and thriving, doing something differently when it uh, relates to and as it relates to consistency and discipline and normalizing that. I am a part of Breathe University and I start an accountability cause there 6 a.m. in the morning uh, with uh, Eric Thomas and Associates, the company, uh, Breathe University. I'm a part of a, a group and it has been very, very um, helpful. And I, I wanted to use another word, but helpful and focused and intentional. As I have gone through this Healthy Life Challenge, I have been able to see myself in ways that I no longer want to live, not in a judgment state, really in a, an accountability for myself and for the love legacy that I want to live and leave for um, this next generation. And even as I'm on the earth, um, Eric Thomas has come out with a book um, or he's coming out in September. If you don't have it, you can pre-order. It's called You Owe You. I'm recording this part in the uh, process of me highlighting me making the 120 day journey because Eric Thomas's company, they have this 120, uh, go 120, not just meet 100, but 120. So in this may, uh, moment and in this space where I am, I have pre-ordered the book, it's coming out in September, but I am really grateful for this journey of 120 days. I knew when I did this last year for the end of the quarter, I knew that if I would be able to look back at my uh, progress, no one else could take that away from me. So I started it in January of 2022. And when I'm looking back, it's the same thing. No one can take this away from me. So what do I have moving forward? What I have is continuing to live my life in a healthy way, in the healthiest way possible, where I create and cultivate spaces and environments where healthy relationship skills can be learned, developed, practiced, and so that they can ultimately thrive. There's so much more in life. There's so much more for my life and leaving a love legacy. I just listened to April Mason and she just touched my soul. I came into 2022 with Takesha White wanting to show up and shine. And you know what? I'm going to continue to put myself out there when I'm afraid, when I'm nervous, when I have no idea what I'm doing, when I do have an idea but still have fear of like what will people think, I am going to continue to move forward. So thank you, Dr. Thomas, for coming out and putting things together for people all over to be able to be accountable. Thank you for coming out with this upcoming book, You Owe You. Pre-order it. No, I am not getting a dime for this, but I want to um, just say thank you to him and his organization. Uh, CJ, he was the one who said pre-order the book. So I am going to echo CJ and everyone. Uh, I have uh, Dr. King, Jamal King's 9 to 5 millionaire, and I haven't gotten on to the solo entrepreneur or any of that yet with um, Carl, but... What I am grateful for, for your entire organization, for what you're doing and keeping it 120. So on this 120th day of my healthy life challenge, I want to thank you. I owe me and I'm going to live the rest of my life paying it forward for myself. And I want to do it for you too. So get his book, pre-order it and 120 days for the living. Uh, my healthy life challenge has come to an end. So let's go. I'll see you on the next uh, the round of Living Healthy.